first of all, I gotta say, how the fuck did we, Canada, get an R-rated movie and turn it into 14A? I'm just boggled at that, because none of that shit I saw in this movie was 14A. <laughs> the standards in Canada, man, like, the U.S. got, like, rated R. We got 14A, so basically anybody can see it, but fuck, this movie was not 14A. Jeebus. Anyways, I have spoilers in this movie, and I'll be titling in the description of the headline, so... Uh, those of you who are saying, spoilers, man, you ruined the movie for me. It's in the title. You've been warned. Anyways, moving on. But anyways, I was going to shit on this movie because when I went to go see it, I bought the ticket. I saw the ticket. It said 14A. I'm going to go. I was like thinking, I am going to shit a brick if this is not rated R and there's not gory shit going around. Went to go see it. I was happy. There was a lot of gore. Indeed, a lot of gore. Does that make me an awful person that I'm just rooting for some fucking gore in this movie? <laughs> oh my god, Ryan Reynolds, my god. Yes, and I was so happy that he broke the fourth wall in this movie. I was just wondering, is, it wouldn't be a Deadpool movie if, they, if he did not break the fourth wall. And I love how they kept on taking shots at X-Men Origins Wolverine every chance they got. And they took a shot at Green Lantern in the opening credits. Because like when they went into the credits, opening credits, they had a shot of Green Lantern in there. Uh, and they did a lot of Hugh Jackman jokes too from X-Men Origins Wolverine. <laughs> wow, just wow. Anybody else was laughing their ass off in the opening credits were like, when they introduced starring a god among men <laughs> directed by some overpaid tool starring a, this person a sexy bitch the comic relief and some overused cameo by Stan Lee oh my god but yeah fuck Colossus in this movie I like how they actually made the guy what is he Russian German For, forgive my ignorance cause like I forget where he's from, but yeah, at least he was German or Russian, because in the X-Men trilogy, the first one and the second one, and I think he was in the last one, I'm not sure. He was not either Russian or German, he was just some American dude. And whatever the little girl's name, fuck, I forget her name, but she has an amazing name, Omega something, that's Omega Teenager something, that's a fucking long name. The one that looks like Shania Twain that Deadpool kept on referencing throughout the entire movie. <laughs> and I swear to God you can mistake this for a, a love story because they made certain scenes into a love story. The marketing in this movie was fucking genius. Started out as a superhero movie, then we get a love story. I'm going, what the fuck is this? And then we go back to a regular scheduled program. Oh yeah, Stan Lee's cameo was amazing. As soon as you heard his voice and Mr. Glove was like, fuck, you knew who it was. Stan Lee, that awesome motherfucker. That awesome motherfucker. And I thought TJ Miller would have a bigger role because like, he got the best lines in the trailer, but he also had some funny lines in here. But this is the one time where I wasn't annoyed by TJ Miller's presence because every other movie he's been in, he's annoying as shit, but he made it good here because it is a Deadpool movie and you need... His kind of sarcastic humor. Ah, what else? God, my throat is parched because I was laughing so hard. Yes, it's that good of a movie. Like I said, how the fuck did it get a 14A when it's rated R in the States? Also, what the fuck is this shit going around where, like, mothers want a PG-13 rated version of Deadpool because they can't show their sons or daughters? Deadpool is not rated PG-13. Well, it's rated 14A here, but there's a difference. Our 14A is apparently a bunch of bullshit going on. The only time we ever had a rated R here in Canada, well, since I've been alive, was the Jackass movies, and all the Saw movies were rated R. That's the only time I remember. Remember! And possibly the Trailer Park Boys movie. Those are basically it. Ah... Uh, the British evil villain, Francis. I finally understand that joke, because everywhere I go on the internet, they have these Francis jokes about 
pine saw or some kind of sunshine cleaner. And I have no idea what the fuck that's about. I finally know it. Because, like, fuck. Now, now that I've seen this movie a little a couple of days late, because it came out one day before Valentine's Day, the love interest, she's okay. She got sexier with long hair. I don't know what it is about women with short hair. I don't find them that sexy. But goddamn, as soon as she got long hair, fuck me. But Ryan Reynolds, man, he's a perfect choice for Deadpool. He's the perfect choice for he's the perfect choice for Green Lantern too, but not the other Green Lantern. That was shit. They need to reboot that and put him as Green Lantern again, cause I think he's the only one that can do it right. Hell, he was Deadpool before in that god awful Wolverine Origins movie, where they make him Baraka Pool and they sewed his mouth. Hey, yeah, they made a reference to that in this movie. He's like. Do you ever shut up or do I have to sew your mouth? And he goes like, oh, people are not going to like that shot for that movie. But yeah, how the fuck can you sew Deadpool's mouth open? Not open, sew his mouth shut. What the fuck was I talking about? I don't know anymore. This movie, I swear to God, it's, it's amazingly, it's funny. It has a story. <laughs> But basically, you're just watching it for Deadpool just breaking the fourth wall over and over and over and over. Because that's what he is. I'm surprised he didn't have like his uh, inner monologue fighting with himself, inner monologue. Because that'd be amazing, but I guess we have to wait for the second movie to come out. Oh yeah, the end credit scene. I love how they uh, took that from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Because he did the same thing. It's like, you're still here? The movie's over. Go home. <laughs> oh my god and fuck I got guilt tripped by fucking Deadpool of all people when he at the end goes like by the way pick up your trash bitches cause like that's a dick move and looks at us and it walks away I got guilt tripped by Deadpool what the fuck as soon as that happened I picked up my shit I'm like oh I don't want to be a dick even though I did it the, all the other times and you can tell like the cast members what cast members that's what they're called cause I used to work in a theater, and that's what they call the employees, cast members. Yeah, it's a stupid name, but that's what they call them. The cast members were giving us the eye. <laughs> it's like, you better listen to Deadpool, fuckers. Of course, some of them didn't, but hey. And of course, we got the people that left right after the credits, because people do that during a Marvel movie, because they don't know, or they just don't care. But hey, I'm sitting through five minutes worth of credits just to see a 20-second clip. And speaking of end credits, five minutes worth of it, the Salt and Pepper song, I swear it made the credits go by faster. Because goddamn, usually when they have credit scenes, you have to wait, blah, 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 you don't care about what's going on. And then finally, after like 500 hours, the thing shows up just for 20 seconds. But they had Shoop there, Shoop there it is, what the fuck? Salt and Pepper's Shoop, yeah. Shoot, I got two different songs mixed up. And I was just bobbing my head to that. I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, shit like that. And my buddy's just looking at me. He's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I go like, I love salt and pepper. So I, that went by fast, just for a Ferris Bueller joke. But yeah, like I said, 14A here in Canada, rated R in the States. I, I'm still boggled at the mind about that. But anyway, it's a good movie. Can't wait for the sequel in every other shit that they have planned. And nice breaking the fourth wall, like I said, right? And like inner jokes about how Fox, it's Fox, right? That owns Marvel, Daredevil, and Fantastic Four, I think it is, and Sony owns Spider-Man. I'm mixed up, but yeah, like the joke where they said they can only afford two X-Men, which is true, because, yeah, it is true. I'm rambling on, that's my review. Go watch Deadpool. It's fucking amazing. Go have some laughs. It's the fucking amazing movie. Like, the the gore and shit. The gore, I can't specify that enough. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye.